Yes, my sister's gonna teach them how to make Play-Doh. So welcome back to our channel, Rivera Family of Five. So my sister will show them how to make Play-Doh. I'm just gonna sit down and watch. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps um, of how much we need. Um, and we're also gonna double the recipe. So this is a very quick and easy recipe for you to make um, if you have kids or anything like that. Um, I am a teacher, so um, I <laughs> I have this recipe <laughs> that I use. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, usually you wanna combine all the wet and the um, solid or the dry ingredients separate. I'm just gonna toss everything all together. So we are going to need two cups of water because we are doubling this recipe. Okay, okay let's do it together. Let's let's do it together. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So then we are going to go ahead and add two cups of all-purpose flour. I want to do it. Can you give me a napkin? Okay. Remember, sharing is caring. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put two cups of flour. Hold on, let me put it in here and then you can put it in the pan. No, that's two cups of flour. Okay, go ahead and stick it in here. Make sure you get it in there. Yeah, that dirt all over me. <laughs> okay. So then what we'll need is cream of tartar. So we're going to add, how much? We're gonna add four, actually, because the original recipe calls for only two, so we're gonna do four. Okay. Next, we are going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of baby oil. Okay. So now, we are going to add, the recipe calls for a half cup of salt. We don't have much salt, so we're just gonna wing it. Wing it. I'm going to put roughly about. No, I'm gonna do this one. Salt. Roughly about one tablespoon. Now, at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the green coloring. In this case, we are going to do green. So here, um, we are going to go ahead and cook our Play-Doh. Um, I have it roughly about seven. Um, all you're gonna be doing is stirring this, um, and then I'll let you know when it starts to change and thicken up. Okay, so it's been about, what, like three minutes, maybe almost five. Um, this is what it will start to look, at, look like. Um, you have to, have to, have to keep stirring it. Don't ever stop. Um, because if not, it is very quick to uh, burn. So just keep stirring it. You'll start getting this consistency. Also, you'll also know that, um, or will know that it's ready when your arm starts to get tired because it will stiffen. So at this point, this is what it will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, or take it out of the um, fire, off the stove, and I'm gonna let this cool because it is very hot. 
Okay, so now our Play-Doh is ready. Um, it took about, what, the whole process? Under 20 minutes, maybe. Um, we cooked this for about three minutes until it got stiff. And this is the outcome. So this is the size that you will get um, doubling the recipe. Um, and this is very easy, easy, easy to clean, very easy to make. Um, all you have to do is just knead it. Like, wait until it's cooled down um, for you to do this because your plate will be extremely hot when it comes out. Um, and yeah, this is what it will look like. Yeah, I'm gonna give you your piece. This is the final result. So now you can play. This is just like regular Play-Doh. You save a lot of money. Um, it's very, very easy to clean up. Um, and kids just have fun with it. And the way you can store it is just in a um, airtight Ziploc bag. Um, and you should be good. And there you go. You can play. <laughs> what y'all gonna make out of Play-Doh? But it should be okay. How the can I do it? All right, you guys, that's how you make Play-Doh. Um, go ahead and try this, uh, what do you call it, recipe? Recipe. Recipe out. And um, let your kids play with it. It actually does feel like Play-Doh. Yeah, my hands look like this because I was actually like kneading the Play-Doh and working with it, so I haven't washed them. And it smells, it does not taste as strong as Play-Doh. Yeah, and not strong. It actually smells more like baby oil. Yeah, a little bit. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. Make sure to always like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're there, family of five. Until next time, bye. bye.